the withdrawal or the pull-out method. It's a very commonly used form of birth control. But does it actually work? How effective is it? And what do you need to do to make it work for you? If you've ever used it before or if you intend to use it in the future, make sure to stay till the end to learn everything that you need to know. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life. And in this video, we are digging deeper into the pull-out method. So first of all, what actually is the pull-out method, also known as the withdrawal? It is a form of birth control where the pregnancy is prevented by pulling the penis out of the vagina before the ejaculation. This way, the semen that comes out of the penis during the ejaculation is kept away from the vagina and from the reproductive system of the woman. The pull-out method is free and very convenient because it's available to anybody. You don't need to go see a doctor, you don't need to go to the pharmacy, you don't need to spend any money. It's right there for you if you choose to use it. But it still has risks. So the risks are that it might not work. So it definitely doesn't provide 100% guarantee that the woman won't get pregnant. And the second risk is that it doesn't protect you from the STIs. So the pull-out method only protects from pregnancy in majority of cases. We'll talk in a moment uh, why and how to increase those chances for you. But it does not protect you from sexually transmitted diseases. And if you're wondering just how effective is the pull-out method, if done correctly, if done right, it is about 95% um, effective. Meaning that only five women out of a hundred will get pregnant where the hundred were using the pull-out method. However, in reality, most people don't actually get the pull-out method right, they don't do it right, and so the effectiveness falls to about 80%, which is still not bad, but not fantastic either, because that means that one in five women using the pull-out method will still get pregnant. So what do you need to do to make this method as effective as possible and to increase your chances of not falling pregnant to about 95%? First of all, you absolutely need to get the timing right. Even if a little bit of semen gets inside of her vagina, she could potentially get pregnant. Also, if you're pulling out but you've already started to ejaculate, it's already too late. So timing is really critical here. You do need to fully pull out of her before you start the ejaculation, before the ejaculation starts or begins to happen. Otherwise, you're compromising the effectiveness of the pull-out method and once even a tiny bit of uh, semen gets inside of her, that sperm could still uh, cause her to become pregnant. Second of all, you really need to be careful where you're ejaculating. And you should really steer clear away from her genitals. If you ejaculate outside of her, but some of your semen still gets on her genital area, that semen could still leak inside of her and impregnate her. So be careful here. Once you got the timing right and you're outside before you start ejaculating, you still need to make sure that you're aiming away from her genitals. If you're still quite young or inexperienced when it comes to uh, sexual activity with a partner, particularly with a partner, it might be a good idea to still opt for condoms and combine these two birth control methods using condoms and a pull-out method. This way you can practice the withdrawal method with the condom on and so in case you don't get the timing right or if you're not careful enough, you still have that condom to make sure that there will be no pregnancy. And look, I absolutely get how tricky, how challenging this can be. I mean, you have to pull out of her just as things are getting really, really good for you and things are feeling amazing. That is not easy. And that requires a lot of self-control of you as a man. You might even forget that you were supposed to pull out you know, because you are in the heat of the moment and because things feel so wonderful. This is why using a condom on top of the pull-out method can be such a good idea until you're sure that you can get it right. Which brings me to the next point, training yourself. It is very important to know exactly and to recognize the signs where the body is telling you that you are about to start ejaculating. You need to know for sure that you know and that you will re recognize that moment and that you will be able to pull out 
with enough time so that no sperm gets inside of her. And typically the ejaculation starts to happen as you orgasm, as the orgasm starts. So it is good to kind of pay attention to your own body. And everybody is a little bit different, so there is no exact formula here uh, for when that first squirt is going to happen. So the best thing to do is to practice, maybe when you're masturbating and really noticing and paying attention so that you can stop yourself and you can make the pull-out maneuver <laughs> at the right time before any of the semen gets out of your penis. Also, if you suffer from premature ejaculation, if you struggle to last as long as you would like to, this could make the using the pull-out method even more tricky and more challenging for you. Typically, men who do experience uh, premature ejaculation can be sort of caught by surprise when it comes to their own coming, their own ejaculation. So this is going to create an extra difficult or hard experience for you when it comes to pulling out if that ejaculation is going to catch you by surprise. So if that's your case, then using condoms as well on top of the pull out method can be really helpful here. So what should you do if an accident happens? You've talked about it, you know what to do, you watched this video, maybe you did a bit more research about the pull out method, but what if you still get it wrong and some or all of the semen gets inside of her vagina? Well, in such a case, you'll need to reach for the emergency birth control method, which is the morning after pill. And these are typically available at the at your local chemist without a prescription, but make sure to speak to your local ph pharmacist just to figure out and to learn what the regulation is in your area and what is the best step for you to get access to the morning after pill. All in all, what's really important here is that you both really trust each other and that you're both committed to not wanting pregnancy at this particular time that you're making love. Because if one of you is sure that they don't want pregnancy and the other one is kind of on the fence, then it might be tempting to sabotage the pull-out method or to execute it in a way that will reduce its effectiveness. So you really need to know that both yourself and your partner are on the same page when it comes to getting or not getting pregnant right now and that you can trust each other that this method the pull-out method will be performed and executed um, in the best way possible and if you're ready to take your sex life from good to amazing make sure to watch this video next